The experience I gained on the course here uh, was very relevant to um, everything I've done with the African Prisons Project since leaving Cambridge. The background to the African Prisons Project is we're a young organisation. We are registered in the UK in 2007. Uh, we started out uh, as a group of students working in prisons, mostly in Uganda, to improve education and healthcare by refurbishing prison libraries and medical facilities. This grew from my gap year uh, when I spent three months in a Ugandan hospital. Uh, some of that time was spent looking after prisoners who were dying. Conditions in many prisons in Africa are tough. Overcrowding is a, a huge challenge. Uh, often there's not good access to healthcare or to education. You might find that a prisoner has waited for um, many years without having a trial, and sentences can be much longer than those in the UK. Um, often prisons won't have running water or electricity, and prison staff uh, sometimes have low morale due to uh, poor salaries and conditions. So it, it's often not an easy place to be but a place that many organisations and charities don't think of visiting. We hear horror stories about prisons in Africa and sometimes things do go wrong. Uh, I think that there are many prisons where uh, things go right though and where prison services, despite having very limited financial resources, are doing their best to make a hum humane environment to provide inmates with decent facilities to feed them as well as they can uh, and to give them the chance to gain skills whilst in prison. And I think that uh, work being done in Uganda when it comes to education in prisons, which sees hundreds of inmates sitting O-levels and A-levels each year, um, is a real success story and something that should be celebrated despite the fact that the prison service doesn't have huge amounts of money. My experience in the general management programme in Cambridge was was very important. Um, APP had been running for uh, about three years then uh, and I'd gained some practical experience establishing and running a charity on the ground. I'd never worked for uh, another employer, I'd always been my own boss, and although I had um, practical knowledge, I didn't have the theory behind it. And the two weeks that I spent here thinking about issues relating to strategy, relating to uh, organisational development and change management, thinking about finance and um, accounting, helped me to um, to compare my experience and knowledge to those working in other sectors, to build relationships with um, those working in government and uh, businesses, uh, and to reflect on, on what I needed to do to develop the organisation uh, and take it to the next stage and increase our um, influence. I think that networking is a very valuable part of the, the course. I, I think that uh, Occasionally we can um, fall into the trap of working in isolation and for me, uh, although I have many contacts working in criminal justice in Africa and to some extent in the UK, having the opportunity to meet those uh, working in a wide variety of businesses, working in uh, foreign governments, seeing the, the different approach they would um, take to some common challenges uh, was very valuable and, and they challenged me and got me thinking about issues in a different way, as well as having support from people uh, at a similar stage in their careers to me um, who, who shared my ambitions and aspirations. The CLAW Fellowship provided me with personal support for a period of two years as a CLAW Fellow. Uh, the CLAW Fellowship looks to identify uh, aspiring leaders in the third or charitable sector uh, and provide them with personal development support and networks to help them to increase their influence. I was fortunate that it um, sponsored me to come to uh, Cambridge to take part in the general management programme, uh, but also provided me with crucial funding to allow me to live whilst establishing the African Prisons Project uh, and support in a variety of other areas, um, which was crucial to a young boy who had just come out of university who wanted to make a difference but um, wasn't exactly sure how. Um, so I'm thankful to, to CLAW for the support I receive from them um, and I know that each year about 20 or so other young leaders um, are benefiting um, in many ways from them. I think the future for the African Prisons Project is an exciting one. We've been refining what we do to focus on three things. One is to continue on infrastructure development, but see how we can do it through partnerships, working with organisations like Book Aid International and the International Committee of the Red Cross. 
and then capacity building of prison staff especially, but also prisoners, with a focus on functional adult literacy and life skills, and finally on leadership development for middle and senior management in African prison services. This will include the opportunity to come to the UK to study for masters uh, at British universities, especially in law, public health and education. We believe that we can help to equip the next generation of penal reformers in Africa to give them the academic skills and the networks and the confidence they need uh, to lead change and make African prisons more humane uh, rehabilitation focused institutions. Prisons in Africa are difficult uh, places where um, challenges can be overwhelming, but I think uh, as an organisation we have a track record of, of bringing change by working through partnerships both with uh, prison staff and prisoners uh, and external organisations. And I think that uh, there's a great deal to be proud of. And I think the future for prisons in Africa is bright because I see uh, change taking place all over the continent uh, and momentum is growing.